Aaron, through six games, do you feel like your offense is slowly improving, or is the improvement not what you would like? It to well, we've, we're not playing as well as I would like to, but we are ahead of where we were last year at this time, by far. I mean, we scored 29 more points this year than we did last year through six games, and um, we're so we're scoring more points than we were through six games last year. Um, it's just the we, we've been more up and down, I think, more too inconsistent, especially in the first half. Too many three and outs. Um, just like to establish a little more rhythm. What's the kind of the biggest takeaway behind sort of those continual slow starts? I guess I mean every game is a little bit different, so I'm Man. not asking to be too granular, but yeah. If, if if I knew the answer, we would have fixed it a long time ago. You know, we're, so it's a program wide thing. We we started slowly. Uh, a lot this year and something we're talking about as a team we you know did a few tweaks to our routine this week uh you know the guys I don't know if, if anybody's already said this but we've been getting the guys up a little earlier this week and doing some different things that just try to lifting in the morning every yeah morning. just doing a few things and see if that makes a difference but bottom line is we just have to focus better and be ready to play you know right from the first snap and it's definitely something you guys are like very conscientious yeah about, yeah i mean obviously. you know sometimes if you uh, focus on something too much, it can become like a you know a, a complex. But I'd rather I'd, I'd rather you know I think anything worth worth doing is worth overdoing. So I'd rather just address it, be honest about it with ourselves, you know, and and try to fix it. Miles has been out and sold to yeah. Chase Hansen or not? Robert 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 Robert. <laughs> Chase Hansen. Yeah. The guy up there. Um, Chase is a good guy too. Chase <laughs> a, I, I like Chase Hansen a lot. Yeah, you say you know something about. Chase he's a great guy. Yeah. Um, do you expect do either of those guys have a chance to be? I'm to hopeful. Play I'm hopeful for Miles. I expect Chase to play. Um, I don't think either one's a sure thing yet, but I'm. I think there's a good chance they'll both oh, play. Yeah. Um, I'd uh, say Chase is probably a little ahead of Miles right now. How about Gunner? Um, same thing. I'm. I'm not. Don't know for sure. He's kind of in the same category as Miles right now. What do you think's been the difference with Chris Brooks the last couple of weeks, um, just in his play and the way he's run the ball? Um, I don't. I don't think there's been a huge difference from game to game with Chris. I think he's. Um, he's been a little banged up at times, and so we're trying to use him when we can in the right moments. And he's working his way through some things. That he, most of the time, playing time is due to. You know how many practice reps you're available to take, and so. Uh, but I, I'm happy with Chris, and I think he'll be an important part of our team the rest of the year. Sounds like Arkansas is ready to bring some pressure based on some of their interviews out there. Is the offensive line ready for the challenge? Yeah, that coach, the the head coach, made that statement, but that's kind of what they do to everybody. They're they're dropping out of the sky in parachutes and stuff. I mean, they come. That's a, like a three three six scheme. It reminds me of playing against Rocky Long or you know Coach Mendenhall in the old days. Like they're. They're, uh, they've got, they, you name a coverage or a blitz, they have it. And so it, that statement is just, that's who they are anyway, so I don't think, but, um, yeah. Jeremy made a couple good plays against pressure and had a couple, you know, had the safety and the interception and things when the guys were in the space. How, yeah. how do you view him as he prepares for this one? Um, well, I guess, I mean, I'm sure the word is out. He, he was banged up from the Utah State game and didn't practice really at all last week and, and then I thought in the game it definitely wasn't his best game. He played he played like a guy who didn't practice, you know. I think uh, he still he still made some great plays that gave us a chance, especially in the second half. But um, you know, practice reps are important, and fortunately this week he's he hasn't missed any reps this week, and he's I think I expect him to be ready to play on Saturday. Did you fear at any point last week that Jaron wouldn't play uh, because of his injury? Um. I knew he was going to start. I knew he was going to be able to start. I did fear, though, just, you know, he he got hit pretty good in that Utah State game a couple times, probably the two hardest hits that I've seen him take since he's been here. And um, uh, I know there were a bunch of people mad at me how I handled that fourth quarter, but all, I just ran the ball to keep him, to not let them hit him again. And so in that fourth quarter, I was running the ball even on third downs and stuff just to, I was not going to give them another chance to hit him. And so... Tried to get into the Notre Dame game as healthy as we could. You know, he, he was tough and he was able to play through it, but he's feeling a lot better this week, and I expect him to be in a lot better shape. Last year there was games, as you've noted, uh, where you know, Jerry could have played, but he yeah. went to the backup. Was that a consideration at all to, to go to Jacob? Um, 
it didn't really get to that point because he was adamant on playing. And then it was sort of up to us to decide if we were willing to play him without practice reps, you know. And he's, I think he's done enough good things for our program that we gave it a shot. And I, I trusted him to play without practicing, which is rare. You don't, that's, don't do that very often in college football. But special case, I think, in, in how much he's played and how much he's meant to our team. After that first pass, though, did it kind of? Yeah, the first pass up? was bad. I mean, he knows it, and he, he um, you know, he was. So yeah, he 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 didn't look great in that first half, and he knows it. I'm sure he. I don't know what he said to you guys, but he's been very accountable to our team, and and um, but he did a lot of things in that second half that gave us a shot. I mean, he, he made some plays that gave us a chance. So I I thought he, even though it wasn't his best game, I thought he showed a lot of guts and leadership, and um, I expect him to be a lot better this week. Did you have to adjust anything with play calling at all, just given his shoulder? A little bit. Yeah, yeah a little bit.